Hey everybody, sorry for the shadows. <laughs> Just can't be helped with this weather. Winter in Minnesota, I'm afraid. Anyway, it is Saturday and I have to do Thursday and Friday. So, Thanksgiving turned out really great. Um, look at, I wrote a ton too. It was actually a nice day out. It was sunny. It was 34. Um, I uh, We always have a tradition of watching the parade on TV, so that was good. But anyway, while I decorate for Thanksgiving, which will be a few pages, I, um, let's see if we can get this on here nice. Uh -huh. Oops, oops, don't do that on me. Uh, look at that. Ended up tearing my page. Oh well, you know, sometimes it just happens and there's not a lot you can do. Oh well, you can kind of read it. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's see, let me get something on this page. Anyway, um, so we had to get, we had like a 22 and a half pound turkey and we were roasting it in uh, my daughter's and son-in-law's roaster pan, which actually held it. I was really surprised, but we got up at... Oh, about seven and got the turkey into the oven at 7.30. And this is how we prepare it. We um, rub, I always have bacon grease on hand, so we rub it down with bacon grease. And, well, first we stuff it. So I stuffed it, and then we run it, ran it down, you know, rubbed it down with bacon grease, and then I put poultry seasoning, provincial seasonings and salt and pepper on top so I made really really good skin and I stuck it in the pan and I think it took us about I think it took pretty close to five and a half six hours to cook yeah probably five and a half and um, so then we were up so then my daughter wanted to come over to see the parade because uh, it's a tradition of ours to to watch the parade on Thanksgiving so she stopped at Starbucks and got a coffee for me and for her and she actually um, I got a free upgrade on mine so I got a venti because they made a mistake or something I don't know what but so they gave her a free upgrade uh, and we both got the gingerbread latte of course that's my favorite I think that's her favorite Christmas one as well so that was nice and so she got my friend my best friend Marilyn came over for Thanksgiving as well and she got here about 8 40 and Rachel got here a little bit before the parade started at 9 the Macy's Day Parade, of course, but, um, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. Um, we have antenna, so I was trying to get NBC, because the parade's on NBC, and it would not come in. That channel doesn't come in at all, so I was trying to find ways to do it online. I tried Xfinity, because we have our internet through Xfinity, but we don't have TV. We just use an antenna for our TV. And, um, oh my gosh, nothing worked. And I tried YouTube and I didn't like that. And so she came over and she has an Xfinity account. So thankfully she got on my computer, logged into her account, um, and we hooked it up to the TV and <laughs> we got to watch it just in time it started. So we got to see it. Um, so my friend uh, Marilyn and my daughter and Sadie, we all watched the parade and had a nice time visiting and watching. My favorite part is the Rockettes and Santa at the end. That's what I like the best. That's the part I look for. 
every time because that's just my favorite part. And, um, phew, owls. I, gotta, I was out in the stores today and I did not even think, and I was in the Dollar Tree, and I didn't even think to look for owl stamps. That is too bad. Oh well. Yeah. I'm just trying to make it to the end of the year with owls. You know, it's not that it's not that much. I'm looking at my stickers and seeing, you know, if maybe I missed I missed some. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, afraid not. I've got thick stickers, but I don't want to use the thick ones. They're all puffy and big, so I'd rather not. Okay, anyway, yeah. Don't have a lot left in that category, but I want to put it all here, so I just want this little guy right here. And then I think I'll just put um, some kind of decoration here. Let's just make this look kind of Thanksgiving-y. Let me check my camera setting. Okay, we're okay. I want to make sure I'm in camera. I had kind of changed it around for when I was doing a flip through. So I just wanted to be sure. It looked good. I have a bunch of decorating to do. Oh, so anyway, um, then my son-in-law, Jamie, came over at noon. And we did some of the work on the, you know, the meal. There wasn't a lot to do toward the end. The last hour, we were super busy uh, getting things ready with the meal. There was plenty to do, for sure. So yeah, the last hour we were busy. I made gravy, which turned out really well this time. It was super easy. Um, I like to make gravy. I don't usually have too much trouble with it. So I do enjoy it. <clears throat> so that's done. So let's keep doing all the ingredients for the turkey day. And... Um, Let's see, I have a couple things I wanted to put on here. Really like this. So I wanted to let's see if I can get this on like this. Um the turkey got done, my husband cut it up, and we got the like the potatoes were all done. Everything was heating up. My daughter did the corn pudding and the yam, the baked yams, and or you know the casserole, and um, I did the gravy. And gravy is super easy; it really is. All you do is you take the drippings from the pan and you put them into like a pot or a frying pan. I used a pot because I was making a ton of gravy. Um, so you put them in a pan and then you, um, let me put this here. When it, when it's the, when the drippings, like I use maybe a cup of drippings of the liquid from the turkey pan, the roaster, um, and kept the rest out. I reserved the rest and you just make a roux. So you just boil the drippings in the pan that you're going to make your gravy in. And then you add some flour. So I added probably a cup of flour because I knew I was making a lot of gravy. And you just stir that until it gets thick and pasty. And then you slowly add the rest of your turkey broth and keep, keep whisking and it'll get smooth and you won't get lumps. And I added, I had bought turkey broth, so I added two more liters of turkey broth. And then at the end, I added a little milk, but it wouldn't even needed the milk. It probably was, I was super happy. I felt like it was one of my better, um, tur you know, gravies. But it, it, it really is easy. 
Okay, I like that. Um, I have some other cute little things that I have from these little pilgrim guys from um, Allie Brown that are so adorable. Um, <clears throat> I've also got pictures of the food that I cut out, so I want to do that. Um, I got this little kind of a vintage looking postcard type thing that I found for Thanksgiving. So I want to put that that I printed. I thought that would just be really cute. So let's put that on there. Let's put that one over here. Okay. And let's do, I'm going to be taking several pages for this. Um, I just decided I'd do this whole big fun Thanksgiving spread. So I'm going to put this up here. And I want to kind of scatter the food around. So... Oh, this was funny. We saw this um, at a magazine, in a bunch of magazines, and it's a tattoo. And so they were teasing me, like, are you going to get a tattoo of your mixer? And um, it's just like my KitchenAid mixer. I mean, it's like practically the same thing, and I just was like, I love this too much. And I'm going to save it. <laughs> and put it here. I oh, know I will probably not get it tattooed on my arm but if I was ever going to get a tattoo I think I think that would be it it's just too cute oh my gosh too cute well let's get these little owl pilgrims from Allie onto a page this page and here so cute. And I like how she did the Pilgrim and the American Indians because it was, I mean, apparently a collaboration of this meal. So that's the idea anyway. Okay, I like that. Let's do a little more decorating like this. And we'll just bring this one. Oh, no, we won't because I don't want it to mess up my page. So maybe we can just put it up here as a little piece. Okay. So I've got a bunch of pages now that I can put the rest of the food on. So I have the turkey. Get a piece of paper. Move this one. All right, let's do the turkey. Okay. I would cut this out last night. I'll just go like this. Ugh. Come on. You could do this. Don't be stubborn. It's from a cover, so it's a little bit hard. Okay. I think we're good. Okay, so there's a turkey. And... I had finished my November magazine, so there's some dressing. And let's put some washi. Let's see. I know I got some washi in mind for this. There it is. Put some washi down just to kind of divide up the different food areas like this. 
And we'll just put one there. Okay. And, oops. And I just want to kind of give that a little extra. This is another washi that I've had for a long time. So, they do tend to get a little bit on the worn side. Anyway, we'll just kind of come up here with it and we'll just kind of bring it over here. And maybe a little bit right here. Okay. Okay, so now I can put something else. Let's see, I'm going to like a ton of pages, so let's put this is the mashed potatoes, but I don't like that there. I'd rather do something like this. Thanksgiving greetings. And I got these last year and I haven't used them. Not a shock, I guess. I get something and then I save it and then I don't use it. So I'm trying to be better about using things because honestly there is no reason not to right so I thought if I would just go ahead and use them anyway now isn't that super cute and then I got all these cute little leaves. Just kind of put around. So that's just all I'm doing there is a little scene. I've got my owl for Thanksgiving, so that's the only owl I need. Let's put the mashed potatoes. There's some mashed potatoes. So let's just do a little bit of our dividing up of items like this. Okay. And then we come over here and I got a couple more pieces. I've got some cranberry sauce. Yeah, so we had our meal. It is actually 2 o'clock by the time we had our meal. And it was really good. There were six of us. And then um, my husband and daughter and granddaughter went for a walk. And Jamie and Marilyn and I stayed back and visited and tried not to fall asleep. <laughs> and uh, that was kind of how we spent it. And then uh, when they got back... Oh, probably about 4.30, we decided to play some games. So we played categories, and we had our pie. You know, we had our dessert and more coffee. And then we um, played another game called Pompeii, which was a lot of fun. And um, Then everybody went home, oh, I would say seven between 7.30 and 8, except for Sadie, who was spending the night with us. So she didn't go home. She stayed with us. 
I think that's good. I think I'm going to do my next day now here. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, as I was saying, Sadie spent the night with us. So then on Friday, which I think I'll just do here, that was yesterday, Black Friday. I do not go shopping on Black Friday. So um, I managed, oh yeah, and then Thursday night we watched The Christmas Chronicles on Netflix with Sadie because that movie um, had just come out on Netflix, yes, on Thursday. So we watched that with her. She got to bed at 10, we got to bed about 11. Um, she slept in until 9 on Friday, which was wonderful. So we got up and had breakfast, and then we decorated for Christmas. So Sadie helped me unpack all the totes while my husband was um, getting the tree put together. And Sadie's like, why don't you buy a tree instead of this? It won't be so hard. <laughs> like, I'm like, no, we can't have a real tree in the apartment. So no, nah, we don't get to buy a tree. So anyway, because they always buy, her family always buys a tree. So then, um, like I said, we decorated for Christmas. She helped me unpack all of my totes and Christmas totes. And it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. And then she helped um, her papa put the lights on the tree and we hung the icicles, and then I had given her some ornaments that she could hang, so she hung her ornaments. And then we have one of those ceramic Christmas trees from the 80s that my father-in-law made us. And so we actually found, you know, the little plastic light, the pieces that the light shines through that are like little bulbs that you stick on the tree. Michael's actually have those. But they had little bird-shaped ones, and so I um, gave, gave them to Sadie. We took all the old ones off, cleaned the tree up, gave Sadie the bird-shaped ones, and she put them on the tree. And then the bottom row, uh, there weren't enough. We, they ran out, so the whole bottom row was, we just she just put some of the old ones back on. And you know what? It turned out really cute looking. And then uh, her parents came and picked her up about 4.30. So Doug and I watched a Christmas movie on Netflix. I've been doing that a lot lately. And had leftovers from Thanksgiving for our supper. We had turkey sandwiches for lunch, so Thanksgiving leftovers for supper. I watched the movie and um, read and stuff, and then that was it, you know. I love these long weekends. They are... It's so wonderful to have, like, a super long weekend like this. Just, I just love it. So, we got up this morning and slept in, got up. My husband made, um, so now I'm on today, made some uh, pancakes. Oh, I didn't put everything in from, anyway, I got some stuff to put in for today and I'm just going to put it all over. Um, my husband made eggs and chorizo and potatoes for breakfast, which was really good. And got all these extra things. And then um, I got laundry going. I had a bunch of stuff I wanted to do today. So we finished, we hadn't put all our ornaments on the tree, so we finished that this morning. And then we ran and did some errands. And we didn't have a lot of errands, which is really good. I had to go to Michael's. Well, there was a 60% off sale, so I got this. And we got some stuff for the Operation Christmas Child box. And then we, um, Went to Walmart and got some toiletry stuff we needed there. And then went to Aldi's and picked up like milk and butter and fruit because we needed that. And then we um, went to the Dollar Tree. I needed some more stuff for the Operation Christmas Child box. So we got that. 
got to put something on here. Then went to Big Lots. I tried to get some socks there. I thought they were on sale and turned out they weren't on the type of sale I was looking for. Not good enough. <laughs> so I didn't they get socks. And then we came home and I did the rest of the laundry and I made the one batch of Christmas bread. So that's three loaves and that's still raising. And then um, cooked up the turkey carcass and legs and wings for I'm going to make a turkey stew because I have so much gravy. And then um, my husband went out geocaching and I decided to do a bunch of taping. So I taped the flip through of the jour commission journals I had made for Connie. And then I taped uh, Christmas decorating and Christmas projects that I have around the house. And we wrapped up the box, the Operation Christmas Child box. Um, we got that wrapped up and ready to go. And I boxed up the journals to send to Connie on Monday. Sadie's birthday present came in. So we got that. All, I, got it, I still have to wrap that, but we got it. Um, trying to think what else. Yeah, uh, that's probably enough, right? So three videos today because this is my third. And then we rented a movie for tonight. Um, we rented Crazy Rich Asians. So it's a comedy. It looks like it'll be good. And we'll have Thanksgiving leftovers tonight. I'm telling you everything for today because I'm going to be just putting the page in here on top of everything. You know what's hard to find is nutmeg. So at our grocery store, Cubs, you can buy spices and bags and they're a lot cheaper and so i bought um we got the nutmeg there and then i got this because we did the fruit cake so i'm gonna get this in here it was a busy day but that's okay i like getting a lot done i also want to make a scarf so i've got um, I'm going to put my page here. So I bought some yarn to make a scarf. And I was going to just show that here. Here's the yarn. So I thought I'd just go like this. And put this right here. Okay. See? Isn't that pretty? I think it'll make a really pretty um, scarf for my winter coat because I have a scarf but it's so long that it's just too long so I needed something I could kind of just trim down a bit not you know make make one smaller and I like to knit and winter I really like to knit in the winter so it was an opportunity to do that Okay, so I'll just get the page done later today, the calendar page, and put it on here. And then, um, I guess I need an owl, right? Yes, I do. I'm going to just do a small owl down here. And then, let's see. And I believe that next Saturday is already going to be December. And busy, busy. What's this from? A glue stick. <laughs> Always something. Okay, so I'm going to set that aside. And the only thing I was going to do here was maybe put a little bit more washi. And then um, we'll be done. Maybe this. Eh, not, 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 not. I think this one that's uh, like a airmail is probably better. So yeah, wow, what a day. It's 5.30, so almost 
Got to get the meat off the turkey carcass now that it's cooked and then um, do supper and watch the movie we rented. And I think that is about it. All right. I like how it all turned out. I, I think it turned out just fine. And tomorrow is Sunday, so um, we'll have church in the morning. We'll rush home and eat, and then we'll go visit my mother-in-law and her husband. So I may not even get on the um, might not be able to record anything tomorrow. That is highly probable. All right. Oh my gosh, the day. Craziness. Crazy day. Right? But yeah. That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you are having an enjoyable weekend and... See you next time.